na kabenta ke khobor ba man ka sngi pet bat subscribe ya u antor news khublei phi ba ro kini ki long ki khobor ba ta ka sngi man ta ka sngi um tu rang ba ka jila me khala ya u konrat ke sang ma u lakrani ki jing e ba pher ba pher jong ki pat ba ha ka cm connect outreach kabla long hanong stun hawes ka sales Hagani ka block level interactive program bala pulong na kabenta ki shinong gi bahap apo ka nongston blong lawani shimbenta da ki he ba kinong mi khmat jong kitnat ba pher ba pher ba kinong mi khmat na ki shinong kinong shong shinong ba kinong mi khmat ki lapun pau ki jing e ba pher ba pher ba ki lapan jing yarap no mun churang ba ki jilla ki mat bala pun pau prathai da ki pat ba ki long halor ki jing pin jari kendon na kabenta ki surok ba ki jing king ki jaka sumar ki jing pin roi ya ki jing tei ha ka kam jing o kai prathai ki jing tei ki jing yale kai ka jing don jong ki bang ka jing pin khlan ya ki jing pin jari ki skim flagship ka jing pin bhai ya ki school ki jing shakri ha ki jaka sumar mrat bad ki wei ki wei umentri rang ba ula ai ka skor ka bas bun ya baro ki mat bad ula ai jing batha na ka benta ban nek loi bad don kam ya ki he atnat Ulapan pauru baga sorkar kan ai jing yaram na kamta ki jing tei shi ki seng bom dan kam kamai ban pen pai ki jaka sumar baki ladon lupa shu shu ulapan menaru baga sorkar kan se shim kia ban kan tiu ka dan no ya ka nong stone civil hospital ha ka ba kam kloi ha luar ki jing tei ha ki kam mele kai umen tui rong ba ulapan tei baga sorkar ka bai ting ka palat shi ha jar kror ha ka ba pen bhai ki jing tei yale kai hak leng ke meghalaya bala pentikna ba ka sarkar ke ne trailang bar ki pat ba ban seng ki jing tei yale kai hi ki jakan nong kendong haba jubab ek jing pan jing yarap sut na ka bentaka shg ula ai ke jing kular ba unsara ek ne ka kam ha u mentri plating ka ka sarkar deng haba jubab ek jing kerpat alor ke jing snai ke surok snong u mentri rang ba ula pentip ba ka tu ka ne ki project surong ru on sas dang ling ba ka program cm rural connect Haba ai jing crunch ki pat ba ulo ong ba ka CM connect ka dei ka lat ya ka government ban snap bat pen bat ki jing e jong ki pat ba ula pen chluru ya ki MLE ki department head ba kin pen ya sno ba ki pat ba ka kerdan jong ki ka CM connect ka bala long menta ka sngi ha nong stun ka dei ka ba pra kum ka ne ka program ka bala pelong ha ka jilla bat men jurang ba ulo ong ba undang beteng ya ka jing ki ban wanra ya ka jing sun shar kham jan sha ki pat ba to never get an opportunity to speak in a government program hence the cm connect is a very special program where the chief minister and officials come to you directly you can ask questions directly and most importantly it is a two way communication and not just one way communication where i come and i give my speech the objective of cm connect is not only to listen to your problems yes it is a very important part but it is only one part of the objective of cm connect you have to understand what happens when cm connect takes place When CM Connect program takes place, the entire system gets activated. It's not about this one hour where I will listen to your questions, but it is about the impact it will have on the governance or the government machinery as a whole. Because our health officials will be ready with their replies. Our PWD officials will be ready with their replies. The PHC department and like that, all departments will have to do their homework, will have to prepare, and will have to respond to your questions. So we may actually ask only ten, fifteen, twenty questions today, but the impact of having a CM Connect is. to activate the system and the government machinery as a whole and that's why cm connect is very very important program because it not just involves this one hour program but it actually activates the system it helps us to deliver the services better it helps us to 
reach the mandate which we are here as a government to do, which is to serve the people of our state, whether it's the officials, whether it's the MLAs, whether it's the government or the chief minister, we are all here to serve all of you. They said, is the government doing anything? Absolutely, yes. We are putting a lot of stress on sports. We realize that our youth are very, very passionate about sports. And hence, we need to provide them the facilities. And realizing that, we came up with a youth policy. And in that, we have stressed on the fact that sports infrastructure is important. So to share with you, as I said, more than 1,000 crores worth of stadiums and infrastructures are being implemented as we speak in the whole state. Uh, in regards to Longstoin also, uh, we are in touch with our uh, Honorable MLA uh, for different locations. We are, in fact, uh, have a proposal to put up an artificial turf, football turf, here worth about 10 crores in Longstoin. I'm waiting for the land to be given by the Honorable MLA or any of the headmen who are willing to support us. Uh, so that sports infrastructure of about 10 crores roughly, plus minus, uh, is going to be implemented here in Longstoin. And uh, as I said, we're waiting for the finance, uh, we're waiting for the land to be given to us by uh, the MLA or any of the headmen of the villages. In regards to the infrastructure in your village, uh, many areas have asked for infrastructure. We may not be able to give a large stadium, but then I will leave it to the Honorable MLA if he can consult with all of you and give me a list of four, five, six villages uh, where we can create mi mini stadiums and small infrastructure or at least uh, uh, you know, level the playing field so that the students and the youth can play. Uh, we'll be happy to do that. So please coordinate. Uh, I'll be happy to even support if this leveling of the field and creating putting goalposts. These of these things can be done for my CMSDF also. So I'll be happy to support. Uh, but I would request a local MLA if you can please visit the village, submit a report to me, and accordingly I will do it for you. Dr. Tom, so I present here on behalf of my village. So now we are without taking more time. I have to, I would like to request, I would like to ask you only just to present, just to present regarding my village of Tom <laughs> the, the, um, Question number one. Our village have no proper ir irrigation facilities for irrigating their agricultural field because of less water supply. The village mostly depends, the village mostly depends on rainfall for irrigation. So, can the government intervene to this important issue so that the farmer could have a sustainable food production and better livelihood? Our village, this is an important question, sir. Our village is currently no road connectivity. No road connectivity. That is from Tom to Langkhada. The, the beauty road is there. The quality road is there. So the distance is approximately two kilometers. Two kilometers. But the construction of this road is on the is under me because we have to construct just for the National Rural Implementary Act. But however, due to a limited, limited, limited number of job cuts of about 75, about 75 household, we cannot complete this route. And it takes more time. It takes more time to complete. And it will take additional periods of two to three years. So, sir, can the concern department provide adequate routes, infrastructure to the village to facilitate the delivery of agricultural and horticultural produce by the farmer?
The village health council uh, is very specific to mega life. Other states don't have this. Why we did this? Is we realized that in Meghalaya, one of our greatest strengths is our community. And people believe in the community. And the village community, the local leadership, the traditional heads, all of this is very, very powerful in Meghalaya. And hence, how can we use this to support health? Support health is what we had planned and that's why the Village Health Council has come up and as mentioned by Principal Secretary, it's an elected body. We have 7,000 villages in Meghalaya. 7,000. You multiply 7,000 by 10,000, that's about 7 crores plus. So for once, village is only 10,000, but for a state, for us to fund uh, this program in the whole state costs us about 7 crores. And even if we increase that to double, that's 14 crores. So the amount is quite big. Uh, having said that, it is not that the Village Health Council is the only mechanism through which we are providing health service. The Village Health Council is an addition and a support system and a participatory system for village and leadership to become part of the overall health care of that village. So they have a responsibility and therefore uh, we have seen that the Village Health Council has been very effective. When we started this program, we didn't know whether it would work or it would not work, whether the Village Health Councils would be active or not active. So we didn't really know how to go forward. So this was a pilot basis in which we went. I'm happy to tell you that the village health councils have made a very, very huge difference. And as we move forward, the village health councils will play even a more bigger role in the overall management and healthcare system in that village. So to answer to the question which our headman has asked, yes, we are examining the possibility of increasing it. We have seen some villages are big, some villages are small, all are getting 10,000. In some villages, it is not enough. So we will see how much increase will be there. I cannot promise you something right here on the stage, but uh, already we are examining the possibility of increasing and we will increase, but exact amount I will not be able to share with you. So in short, to reply to your question, yes, we will be increasing. I'd like to inform all of you that uh, from Nongstoin to Maui, the road is obviously the work is going on right now. Uh, but we have decided uh, to continue the road and uh, we will be very soon sanctioning the additional connectivity from Maui to Nongjuri. This is part of our plan. This is going to be implemented very, very soon. We will be sanctioning this maybe in about a month or two months' time. Tendering will take place. I hope that by March or April, we will actually see the construction work or at least by next year, the construction work for Maui to Nongjiri will happen. So I want to give assurance to you and to our honorable MLA's uh, concern that this is a priority road for us and we know the economic viability and uh, importance of this road. The Shalam to Mahishkula road has been a road which honorable MLA has been pressing on. 
uh, we are exploring the possibility of taking up the Shalang uh, to uh, Maheshkola Road under the MITP2, which is a World Bank project, but that list has not been finalized yet. Uh, so I will not go ahead and announce it right now, but we are still working on it. Uh, and I will do my best to ensure that that particular road also is included. But only once we finalize will I announce it. But I can, can very confidently announce the Mawet to Nongjiri Road. It is already in our list. And as I said, the sanction will come in about a month or two months time. Uh, NSAP, which is the pension scheme for uh, old age pension. As well as the MGNRGS, we all call it job card, job card. Uh, these are all national and government of India schemes. The whole country, the same policy is being implemented everywhere. Meghalaya is the only one, or rather we are the ones who could not implement Aadhaar because there was a lot of resistance from the people. I take this opportunity to urge all of you. The entire country has enrolled in Aadhaar. We are one of the few states which is lagging behind because we are getting resistance from the people. The whole country is doing it, there is no problem in it. And today, after many, many years of requesting that we be exempted, Government of India has now come down heavily, saying that MGNRGS salary will not be, wages will not be given, NSAP funds will not be given if Aadhaar is not there. So we have done our best and got maximum relief but now, as I said, the entire country is 100% Aadhaar. We are the only ones left who have a few states, two, three more are there. We are at about 70%, 75%. So we need the support of the community, people, especially our local headmen. You must motivate the people. You must convince the people. It is mandatory and we cannot move any further beyond this point. Uh, and otherwise, the MGNRGS wages as well as the NSAP old pension will be stopped.